Hey, Nuri, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how was your day? Good evening. Did you have a good day? Oh, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> how about you? And what happened today? Yes, today. No, today, Nuri, how, what did you do today? I uh, me. Ah, yes. okay. Mm, well, I was. I, I was doing here my home. Um, clean my house. Cleaning my house. Do you clean your house every day, Nuri? Oh, no, no, not really. That's good. I think if you clean your house every day, it has to be very tiring. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, it is. But I try, teacher. <laughs> and my back hurts a lot. Mm. I know some people. I know some people that they like to clean every day, every day sweep, every day mop, every. Day. I know it's it's too much. <laughs> when I was young, I used to. Really, but not today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, I stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think no. Nah, it's nice. It's nice to have a clean house, but not yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Flor. Thank Hello, you, Roxana. Teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, you mean, did you have a good day? Yes, I have. Yeah. A typical day. <laughs> and anything special, Roxy? Anything different? No. I I went to the gym. Um, only that. Okay. All right, that's good. I, I never go to the gym, so it's excellent <laughs> that you are staying <laughs> healthy. Good. All right, I see we have Luis and Flor and Miguel. Miguel, what happened? Do you have internet problems? I see you connected and then you disappeared. Yeah, I have a problem with my internet. But um, right now, it's, it's already solved. Okay, okay. All right. I imagine it's, I, I, I don't know if you have a, a thunderstorm or a big storm near your house, because I know in some parts of El Salvador in this moment is a big storm. Mm -hmm. in, in my house, uh, we don't have a big storm. It's very, it's very hot. I imagine it's going to rain <laughs> in a little bit, but I know that in many places, woof, it's so hard. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for connecting. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off talking about, yesterday we were looking at wishes and regrets. Today we're going to start off talking about advice. Advice. So advice for different situations, different things that you can do, okay? Let me put in the chat. There you go. We have a couple of questions to help us with the advice. First thing, we're going to read, answer, give your opinion, give complete answers. What do you think about it? So, for example, number one, as you can see the advice, I want to quit smoking. What should I do? Ah, well, what is a good advice? Let's try one example. How, what is a good advice to quit smoking? Oof, 
Well, I'm no there you go. There you go. go I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stop drinking. Uh huh. Stop drinking because if if you smoke when you drink alcohol or something, it will be easier if you stop drinking for a while. Okay. It's very common. People that drink have usually smoke, right? In in the aspect that the people that smoke usually drink. That when the people are in the bar, they ah, I need a cigarette or something. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Give me some advice. If you want to quit something, how do you do it? What do you give? I want to quit eating junk food. I want to quit eating snacks. I want to quit, uh, you know, whatever. I want to quit eating sugar. What can I do? For for example, when the when uh, is when someone uh, drive the car is very important. Respect uh, the speed limit, for example. Okay. With advice, I know. Okay. Good. Good. Well, that's good advice. Okay. Now, why is this important? the The answer is not important. Is how you structure it and what you say that is important. When you answer advice, you need to use models. Models are words, for example, can, could, must, may, might, should, have to. All of these are the things. In English, it's not normal to say, I recommend. It's not normal. It's normal to say, you should. You should stop drinking. You can uh, use a patch. You may want to look for help. You, this is normal. No, I recommend. This is Spanish. In English, we have the models. So the first is look at the different questions. Remember, the important is not the answer. The important is your opinion and your ability to explain what you think. This is the important. The advice, you can give Gracie advice, is your opinion. But the important is that you structure it correctly. Teacher, yes? I have a question. In which case do you use, I recommend? It's normally for a job. For example, I, rec I recommend Luis for the position. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Anderson. Mm -hmm. Or I recommend this church for you. I recommend this movie. In these forms, you recommend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I listen in the storm. I think it's going to rain near my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is, it is not rain, but it's hot, very hot. Here is very hot, too. Very hot. Maybe in a, a little bit. All right, guys, let's go with our partners. Let's do it.
All right, Miguel. Any questions? No, teacher, everything else, okay? Okay. Let me try like this. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Because here is raining very hard. All right. So now we, we practice a little bit. Before we continue, any questions, any vocabulary or words you want to know? No. No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, great. So let's take a look. We're going to be here in our next activity is we're looking at 3.8. 3.8 is from yesterday. Here, we're going to rewrite the sentences with the idea for regrets or wishes. I wish uh, if only, remember, these are the ones that we practiced from yesterday for wishes and regret. So with your partner, all you're going to do is make this sentence, but with I wish. So I can't find the time, ex the time to exercise, right? So with your partners, you go and you say, hey, how can we make that sentence with the expression using the I wish? It's okay, the instructions? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, okay, perfect. So 3.8, rewrite the sentences with three in 3.8.
Hey, Gino. You ready? Gino? All right, Miguel, give me number one. No, teacher, uh, let me, okay, the number one for our group is, I wish, I wish I could find the time to exercise. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Luis, what do you have for number two? <laughs> number two. If only grace had been better last semester. Ah, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Almost correct, Luis. Almost correct. We're going to see in a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Nuri, give me number three. I couldn't do it, teacher. No problem. That's why we work in a team. It's okay. okay. That's why we work in groups. Mirna, what was number three for you? We have grown that dance. <laughs> okay, let's begin together. What are we going to begin? I wish. Okay. So we're going to have, sorry. I wish. That's the first part. Correct. I wish. What is the opposite if I don't know? No. I didn't, I didn't know. Okay, I, but the opposite, the opposite of I don't know. I know. I knew. I knew. I knew. In the, okay. But I, I but teacher, but I tried. I wish I knew uh -huh. how to dance very well and it's incorrect. Don't worry, we're gonna check in a moment. We're gonna see what is the mistake in the platform. Oops, how to dance very well, right? Yeah. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. That's why we work together. Number four. Uh, Jose Roberto, you have number four? Sorry, teacher. No, we, we, we didn't have access. We, we have a problem with the platform, so we no just uh, chat. Okay, okay. Marvin, did you get number four? Yes, teacher. Okay, what did you put? I wish I had applied for that interesting job at work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, sounds good. All right, we got number five. Let's see who's next in the list. Ah, Doris. Doris. Eduardo. <laughs> okay okay but first doris doris what's number five okay maybe doris has a little bit of problem floyd what's number five I wasn't able to work on that one, but I'm I can try to guess. Okay, try it. Um, teacher is probably it. Sorry. I wish I I was um I wish obviously as I wish first. I wish what floor? I, I, wish I wasn't feeling very stressed these days. Okay. All right. Sounds very nice. Wasn't feeling very stressed. 
Okay, good. Eduardo, number six. Uh, yes, is if only I had. Uh, learning learning um, yes and how to swim when I was a child okay. yeah. good, good, good. number seven who's got number seven Luis, you got number seven? No, I I don't have teacher the number seven. No problem. Ivania. But Ivania, you have number seven? Yes, but I, I think it's incorrect. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. I if only um I had now given. Away all my all CDs and DVDs. All mine. And then the rest, the same, right? Yes. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. When you use if only is a condition, you need to another sentence. You need two sentences for condition. Or you can put the if only in the in the one sentence. It's okay only if only. It's not necessary to. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, 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 what is the place for if only? Is the regret. Is the number seven uh -huh. or the number six? That is the same. If only I had learned. Yes. If only I had. And then the, the and then the review. I have given. I had not given because here you gave, so you want the opposite. Okay. Remember if the, only I have given away. No. You want the opposite. So for example, if it's black, you want white. If it's give, you want receive. If it's uh, you want the opposite of the action that you did. That's why it's a regret. So I went to the party. I went to a party. If only I hadn't gone to the party. You want the opposite of your actions. Okay. Mm -hmm. in, okay, in the number seven, if only I had, hadn't given mm -hmm. away. Correct. Oh, in the rest of the sentence. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, number eight. If I were... Go ahead, Luis. Oh, okay. okay, if if only I I didn't wash too much. Yeah. Didn't watch. Maybe. And then the rest. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Maybe. Okay. Almost correct, almost correct. All right. Yeah. Good. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, Gino. Hey, I have a question about this last one. Mm -hmm. Since there are like two uh, uh, expressions in the sentence, would it be okay to use if only I read enough when I was a kid and didn't watch as much, uh, uh, too much TV? Would it be okay? That would be okay. Only the grammar is a little bit different, but that is correct. It is not. If only I hadn't, if, if I, if only I had read enough when I was a kid and I hadn't watched too much TV is also. Right now, I'm gonna show you a couple of the different options that you have. So for example, here we can see, if only my grades had been better is the same, is the correct answer. Number one is correct. Number two is correct. I wish I knew how. Number three is correct. Look. Number four, someone said that they tried one, but it wasn't correct. Someone said, hey, I, I put that, but it, it wasn't correct. Which number? 
Ah, maybe here. Maybe <laughs> number, number seven. Number seven is the contraction. Is a contraction, yes. Number seven is obligation, a contraction. And then number eight is the hadn't. Mm -hmm. No, didn't. And number five also, it, it was not wasn't, it was wearing. Let's take a look. Number five. I wish I wasn't, I wish I weren't. Correct, correct, not wasn't. Remember, this is from yesterday where we said that all of the ones with I is no I was, no he was, no she was, all is were. In this case, weren't. Okay. If you want, take a screenshot, make sure that it's correct. That way you have it and you don't have problems later. It's okay, any questions? No. All right, well then let's continue. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a listening exercise and we're gonna finish up with a reading for today. The first listening, we're gonna listen and put in the numbers correctly. What value do these people think are important? Which is the first value, the second and the third? So we are putting in order from what we hear. Teacher, I yes? have a question about the number A. If only, do you remember wash it? How I can how I can understand that wash is uh, as far as simple or simple path? Because always uh, when you use had or hadn't is obligation past participle. Okay. Okay. Oh, the grammar is always, always the auxiliary. Ah, okay. Have, okay. Had, haven't, okay. hasn't, or hadn't, obligation okay. past participle. Okay. In this kind of sentences, right? No, no, no. In all. No. In, in all, all sentences. In all sentences. Okay. okay. Uh huh. In the future, in the present, in the past, but with have the next verb, obligation, past participle. Okay. Okay. Excellent question, Luis. Very good. That way you remember. Okay. okay. So now let's listen and put in order when you hear first, second, and third. Sure, I have another question. Sorry. Yes, Ivania. Um, I see, for example, in number two, um, why is the reason or, or what is the reason um, to change the adjective? For example, in number two, in the sentence it says, very good. And the answer says better. Um, because my because they are you are comparing the last semester to the one that you imagine. When you compare, always always the you have to change the adjective for a comparative. Here we are comparing the, the real semester. And we are comparing the imaginary semester. It's just like in Spanish. The, the same, imagine you are saying it in Spanish, is the same grammar rule. If you compare two, even if it's imagination, is the same. Okay. Uh huh. It is in Spanish, it's natural for you. That's why you don't think. Mm -hmm. Si mi trabajo hubiera sido mejor, ah, mejor is, in, is comparative. No si mi trabajo hubiera sido bueno. This is, mm -hmm. this is the original. When you imagine to the other, you always compare naturally. So it's obligation because even if it's not real, you are making a comparison between now and that time. Okay. okay. Good question. Very good. That way it's clear for you. Excellent. All right. Let's go for our listening. Listen and put in the correct order. Three important values. A. Listen to these on the street interviews. What values do these people think are important? Number the values in the order you hear them.
We're back on the street for the Ask the People portion of our show. Today, our question is, what values do you think are the most important and why? Now, I just have to find some people who are willing to talk to me. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Andy Simmons. I'm a reporter for WQZ, and we're on the air. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm on my way to work. This should just take a moment. Well, okay, but make it fast. Okay. We're asking people what they think are the most important values in today's society and why. Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess I think it's important to listen to your parents. Kids these days. My kids never listen to anything I say. Aha, uh -huh. so you think it's important to respect your parents? That's right. Sorry, I've got to go. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, was he in a hurry. Miss, excuse me, miss? Hello? Hmm? Yes? Do you have a second? I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. I'm doing a radio show. Uh-huh. Well, um, we're asking people on the street what values they think are important and why. I'm sorry, I don't really have much time. It'll just take a second. Okay, then. I don't know. I guess that honesty is important. You know what they say. Honesty is the best policy. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I mean, you're just going to get in trouble if you're not honest. At least, that's been my experience. I see. Listen, I have to go. Thanks. Let's see if I can find one more person. Oops! Ouch! I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there behind me. Are you okay? No! You stepped on my toes. What are you doing standing here anyway? Well, actually, I'm interviewing people. I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. What's that? I'm Andy Simmons from the radio station WQZ. I'm doing on-the-street interviews. Oh, okay. We're asking people about values. What values do you think are most important in today's society? Privacy. I'd have to say privacy. I think people need to respect each other's privacy. Like right now. You really need to leave me alone. Huh. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, folks, that's all the time we have today for our show. Today's question was, what values do you think are important in today's society and why? After this experience, I'd have to say one thing we all need to work on is being kinder, especially to news reporters. This sure is a tough job. This is Andy Simmons of WQZ Radio, signing off until next time. Okay, guys, tell me, what was number one? Which of the three? Respect. 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 Okay. Which one was number two? Honesty. 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 Okay. And number three? Privacy. Privacy. Okay. Hey, great job, guys. Any questions? Anything that you heard that you're not sure about? No question. Okay, great. Now we have our last exercise. Here is the reading exercise. We are going to read and then you have to answer true or false. Let's begin reading together, okay? Let's see if we can see this a little bit bigger. Is that okay? So, so or no? I can't read, teacher. I can't read. <laughs> You can't. Yes. Sorry. Is is this, so? Is yes or no? You can see or no? Yes. 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 Oh, I okay. can. Okay. Thank you. Thank I you. I can't see. Okay. All right, Nuri. Nuri, begin reading the first paragraph. <laughs> Teacher, I can see the world are, are very small. Ah. I can I can help. I can help. Okay, Luis. One moment. Let me help Nuri also by putting in the WhatsApp or you can check in yours, Nuri. Don't worry. <laughs> Go ahead, Luis. Go start reading. Okay, I started as a typical day for Wesley. A tree, a tree, a 50-year-old construction. 
worker in New York City. It was about 12 uh, 45 p.m. and he was waiting on a subway platform to take his daughter home before he went to work. He suddenly noticed a man nearby have a convulsion and collapsed. Mr. Alfred and two women went to help the stranger. The man, Cameron Hall Peter, managed to get to, to his feet, but then stumbled at the edge of the platform and fell onto the subway tracks. Mr. Austray looked, looked up and saw the lights of the subway train. Uh, approach, approaching through the room, the, the tunnel. The tunnel, good, good. Thank you very much. I'm going okay. to send all of it in the WhatsApp group. That way, if it's difficult for you to see, maybe in the WhatsApp, you can make it bigger, okay? Okay. One more, and then here. I think I try one more. All right. Maybe for this one is better if we make the groups because I think maybe here is, is too small for some people to see correctly. Okay. Okay. Or who else would like to read? Let's try. Anybody else? Can I continue? To Yes, please. What could you, what would okay. You, what would you do? Uh, yeah. What could yeah. you do? I stand horrified and watch helplessly. Most people will jump in to help, but only if there were no train in right. Mr. Oftrim acted quickly. He left he leapt down onto the truck. He realized that he didn't have time to get Mr. Hulloper and himself back up the platform before the train arrived. So he lay on top of the man and pressed down as hard as he could. Although the driver tried to stop the train before, before it reached them, he couldn't. Five cars passed over them before the train finally stopped. The cars had passed only inches, inches mm -hmm. from his head. His first words were to ask the, the onlookers to tell his daughters he was okay. Good. In this moment, any words you don't know or don't understand from paragraph one or paragraph two? Helplessly. Helplessly is like invalid, is not able to move. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. He leapt down onto the track. Leapt down is jumped. He jumped onto the train, uh, onto the tracks of the train. The tracks are like the metal where the train goes on. These are the tracks. So it's like, imagine jumping into the pool. He jumped, but no into the pool. He jumped in, into the place where there are the trains. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay, good. All right, who's going to continue? New York loves. Hey, teacher. Okay, Vanya. Um, New York loves a hero. And there was no question that Mr. Autry's actions had been just that heroic. He became an overnight sensation. People couldn't get enough of the story. The media named him 
Name here, the subway Superman. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg gave him the bronze medallion. Medallion, did you? Medallion, yes. The medallion, the city's highest honor. In the past, this honor has gone to such people as General Douglas MacArthur, Martin Luther King Jr., and Muhammad Ali. He was also asked to appear on several high-profile television talk shows. Okay, good. And who's going to read the next paragraph? Oh, everybody's scared to read. I don't know if can I again. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Last <Just>, picture. <laughs> Go ahead. His self. Do not raise her. His hand. Go ahead. Uh, me or or. You can read. I don't know. Gino, and then Gino can read the next one. Okay. His selfless bravery was also regarded with money and gifts. Among other things, Mr. Offield received uh, 10,000 from Donald Trump, a 50,000 gift. 5,000? from the, uh, 5,000, yeah. <laughs> gift card from the Gap Clothing Store, a new Jeep, Tickets and backstage passes to the next to the next Beyond's concert and free one year public transit pass. A Disney ambassador thank you, thank you him with with a one week old expenses paid trip to the Disney World and ticket to the to the Lion King on Broadway. Okay. And the last one, Gino. Okay. Uh, how did Autry, a Navy veteran, react to all this? Honorably, he said, I don't feel like I did anything spectacular. I just saw someone who needed help. I did what I felt was right. Uh, can you please uh, move the, the image? That's I it. don't see Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that was <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, don't worry. We're going to pause right there. Tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and continue. We are going to read again and make sure it's clear and then answer the questions with your partner, true or, so, true or false, before beginning unit four. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for connecting. I see you tomorrow. Thanks to you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.